this just gives us kind of a, an idea of what's going on here. This is say we had a panel uh, of metal or something. This would be the metal, and then here would be the indention, and here would be the rivet head. Notice the light source would be coming this way, so we know that this is going to be darker up here. It's going to be lighter at the top of the head of the rivet where the light hits it, and then it's going to be a lighter source at the bottom, but it's also going to be um, what you would think would be the opposite side uh, when the light comes down. So you're going to have a highlight on the top of the rivet head, darker down here on the bottom of the rivet head, lighter here, darker up here. So what we'll get when we uh, render this with an airbrush is we're going, to, we're going to do a rivet to where it's going to look like that is indented into metal. So we'll go ahead and put down some, just a real quick, just some um, base coat of like a little bit of a black just to kind of give it a uh, simulation of being gray. And let's say we wanted, um, let's say we had a panel, another panel of some other piece of metal. give a little indention of where that's going to be okay so we're going to put our rivet right, right over here someplace so what we need to do is we can get a stencil whatever just need a circle okay and we'll go with this type of rivet right here so we're going to lay our hole down right here on the bottom and we're going to airbrush on the bottom side of that it's going to be the top of the or the bottom of the rivet head and let that highlight on the top there okay so that's going to kind of an effect give us a rivet head now we'll just take and cover up and do the opposite side of that on the top and you'll get an indention there you can kind of see how it looks like it's indented all right and so if we take another bigger circle if we want to really kind of get cool with it we can go down here and kind of get just a little bit of an effect on the other side and that gives you an effect an indention into the metal now you can highlight this down here if you wanted to and you can go on down the line given different size rivets is all I mean, you can go down here and give a different size just kind of give your own however much you want to, to make that look like that is actually indented into the metal. Uh, you can come back in with your white highlight on the tops a little bit. Like down here also would be where the white would be. Kind of give it more of an indention on top of the rivet itself. And just a little bit highlight. Nothing big and fancy. A little goes a long way on that. And as you go along your panel, you can go down... Um, and just put a, a rivet of wherever you want. You can make more shadows if you want to make it like it's recessed into the metal more. Uh, we can add some rust effects. We'll come back with a, uh, some more videos on how to do little other tricks, like throwing rust in there um, and other things. Show you real quick on the other side. We'll just actually just spray a little bit more black and make it look a little bit darker. We'll throw another rivet on this side of it and just show you kind of what it looks like with a darker color. Remember, light source coming down. At the bottom of the rivet, cover it up on the top. And bam, you get your indention. That's how you make rivets.